so friends this is in this video i am going to review the pro a product or a purifier from kent which is right now i am explaining about the kent ultra storage uv plus uf purifier you can see here there is no ro membrane involved in this flow and process so let us see what are the specifications of this system here you can see the specification of the system the model name is Kent ultra storage UV purifier number is 1042 it is uh, you can see specifically the what uh, wattage it consumes is 36 watt capacity is 7 liter uh, this is a tank capacity and you can see the what is the light UV lamp wattage is used is 11 watt lamp so this main parameters are here and also you can see the age of the membranes and the uv light so this is typically one year so within a year we should replace the membranes and filters and uv light or uv lamp so this is the connections from which the filter gets uh, water flow and lead. So this is the SS valve. From the SS valve, you can see there is a knob. So this knob is right now on and there is a flow in the line. This line is then connected to a pre-sediment filter, which is a five micron filter. This is the inlet. And this is the outlet so outlet of the 5 micron sediment filter this is a pre sediment filter to increase the life of the membrane and the performance of the purifier so this is the inlet of the main purifier unit after you can see there is a main purifier inlet the flow is going to the sediment filter which is connected here so this sediment filter flow is then connected to uh, SB wall which is a sunlight wall which is a, a solenoid wall which controls the flow or cut the flow when your tank is over so here how it controls the flow uh, how it controls the switch so there is a breaker switch or uh, which is uh, principally works on the float floating braking so once it is filled so this is a float valve switch or floating switch so this particular switch you can see here this cut the supply to the purifier so then flow stops so ma main flow stops from this uh, particular valve here so here this switch is really danger because here the main supply 230 volt is there while this is a solenoid thing and a solenoid valve which solenoid works on the 24 volt DC so there for making a DC there is a one adapter you can see which takes 230 volt AC and gives a 24 volt DC so that 24 volt DC is going to the uh, SV uh, valve uh, supply plus the UV lamp supply UV is 24 volt DC and 11 watt 11 watt uh, power so let's discuss the flow then so after coming from after passing through this uh, sb sb wall sb regulator actually the supply is going to the carbon filter this is a carbon filter so the direction of flow is important so this is the inlet and this is the outlet then outlet of the carbon filter 
is goes to the inlet of the uf membrane so this is the uf membrane and then you output or the outlet of the uf membrane is then connected to the inlet of the uv uh, cartridge so in the center there is a uv lamp and the water pass cylindrically uh, through this and comes out from the another route so here the direction of flow does not matter but for convention we make the flow from right to left so this is the flow direction so this is the outlet of the uv make sure the speed of the water should not be very high when it is passing through the uv because it needs sufficient time to disinfect the germs while passing through the uv so for that purpose there is a flow controller so there is a mechanical flow controller here in some system this is a flow controller plus tds controller but in our system there is not required because it's not a ro system this is only uf and uv system so this is controlling the flow of the water uh, in the uv because overall all flow should be uh, with a constant rate so that uh, the uv can disinfect the water and then finally the inlet this is the outlet of the uv and inlet of the uh, flow control valve and this the, this is the out, final output which is going to the storage tank so this is how the process works in a Alt Kent Ultra Storage UF UV plus UF purifier. Here there is no RO membrane involved. RO is needed for those areas where groundwater is used for drinking, which is untreated. We are getting a BMC supply here in Mumbai, so there is no need of the RO membrane here. UF and UV disinfection is sufficient for uh, the TDS which is distributed by the BMC. Of course, the pre filters, the pre sediment filter, uh, increases the performance and the life of the sediment filter membrane and the carbon filter membrane, as these two are made for the 5 micron. And this is the ultra filtration which I don't know for which size it is meant for but this is ultra filter and this is the final UV disinfectant so it is not like that from any flow this is meant the flow is already can regulated from this so there is a constant rate and the UV disinfection is taking place from that rate and final collection is happening into the 7 liter tank and this is the outlet tap here we can get the purified water or disinfected water thanks for watching if you like the video please share and comment and subscribe our channel